I want to tell you about a special thing that happens right around Christmas time as we're getting ready, you know, just for the holidays and to be a little bit more generous. Jesus said this in Matthew 25, 40. He said, truly, I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these, my brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. Jesus takes it very personally when we minister to others' needs in his name. What we do every year is between November and January, we do a special generous donation. And I want you to know right up ahead of time, this is not one of those pressury situations. We've already taken the offering today. We're not doing anything in particular about this today. But over the next three months, we've got a goal, and that goal is $30,000 that we want to raise. And we want to do it to meet several needs, both here at the church, but also, more importantly, uh, outside of our walls in the real world. And one of the reasons we do this is just because, for me as a pastor, I want our people to get it in their bones that it does matter what we do here, but it matters what we do somewhere else, too. Like, this is not the only corner of the kingdom of God uh, going on in the world. And so... We do this, we're doing this outpour of love offering, and here's the first uh, kind of priority of that. We want to demonstrate God's compassion for hurricane victims. I know that it's not quite as, as in the news, it's not quite as buzzing on social media as it used to be, but people are very much still hurting from things like Hurricane Harvey and, and everything that's happened with that recently. We just need to, we want to come alongside now months later and we want to financially support and encourage and build up through organizations like Samaritan's Purse and those kinds of organizations that really help people on the ground. In addition, a priority number two is God's concern for displaced refugees. Um, you know, it's, it's super on my heart. We did a message last spring just about what do we do with refugees. And whatever you think politically about that, here's what I would tell you. Biblically speaking, we want to help the hurting. And so there's nothing, we, we can't, we don't make policy around here, but we can help the hurting. And so we want to do that as well and take a chunk of this offering to make sure that we are doing things to partner with organizations that provide very on the ground help for those that are both abroad and here already in the States. And then we want to be concerned about the next generation, the, the, the folks that are up and coming. They're not the future church, they're the church of Jesus Christ, and they're getting prepared, and we want to make sure we do all that we can to prepare them. And so we want to demonstrate God's passion by reaching students. We want to help them attend a WAVE conference week that's happening this summer. Okay, this is something brand new for us. We're putting on a week-long summer retreat at a ginormous water park, and here's the whole gig, man. We want our young people to get as excited and burning white hot for Jesus Christ as possible, but we know they'll have more fun if they're at a water park, and more of their friends will come if they're at a water park. So we're going to let them swim, swim all day, and then we're going to preach to them all afternoon about the goodness and the faithfulness and the awesomeness of Jesus Christ. And they can't do that alone. We want to help them. So we're going to take a chunk of this um, outpour of love offering and help make that happen. And then there's just always stuff going around, going on here at the church. There's stuff that we want to prioritize our guest experience. I mean, that's really, that's really the big idea on Sundays anyway. So just so you know, if you're a first or second time guest, you need to know everything we do on Sundays, we're trying to help you feel more comfortable here. We're trying to help you see the beauty and the wonderfulness of Jesus Christ. And part of that really has to do with even just the, the context, the environment. And so there's stuff that we, we still need to update and do in the lobby. We're just taking that step by step, year by year, piece by piece. But we want to have the very best place to give people the very best chance to discover and know Jesus Christ. And then beyond our 30,000 goal, anything else given during this offering will go to just helping more people take their next step toward Jesus. And that's, that's what we do. That's what we're all about. We don't do a ton of things. We just do one thing. We just help people get closer to Jesus Christ. What I want to challenge you to do, if God is laying this on your heart, if he's ringing your bell about this, is to bring your best gift on December 10th. That's just one moment in history that we can all come together and just, hey, we're going to try to do this. If you don't do it, if you can't do it, it's no big deal on that particular day. But here's what my wife and I will do. Um, I've already got a number that I don't know how we're going to come up with that money. I don't know. Um, but we've been doing this long enough that we know the, the, kind of the, the, the recipe for us is to try to hear from God what he wants us to do. That's the first question. Because what God calls us to do, he empowers us to do. And then we're going to spend some time in prayer. Okay, God, well, will you make a way for us to do this? Because we want to be generous with your resources, but we don't always know how to do that. And so we're going to pray and we're going to believe God to provide that resource. And between now and January 31st, we're, we're just believing God is going to make a way. And I would tell you every year we 
we've done this, he's always made a way, like he's done it again and again and again. So maybe for you, if you're a brand new Christian, you haven't done this very much, can I just tell you, we don't want something f from you. We want something for you. Like generosity is part of how we develop as stewards of Jesus Christ, and God really did make us to take care of other people. So there's no pressure with this at all. I just want to challenge you and encourage you to jump on board and begin this journey with God of how we would do this outpour of love offering and what that looks like in your family. Is that sound like a deal? Yeah.